Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So here we are on the Kamunda website and we can download the Kamunda modeler and we can install it. So this is the Kamunda modeler I have downloaded and what I will do is and this is where I am running uh, Kamunda. Okay. So Kamunda workflow engine is up and running and we are using MySQL as a database and once this is up and running what you can do is simply you will open the local host 8080 where the Kamunda is running right and just pass the demo demo so I think that will open up your Kamunda console so this is like a web console where you can see all these things Kamunda cockpit uh, task list and admin these are like three major components which uh, drive everything on the Kamunda okay now here what we see here is the cockpit task list and admin now we need to get our Kamunda modeler running because through the Kamunda modeler we would be able to run our we would be able to create a workflow and we would be able to put the deploy the workflow to this Kamunda okay so let me just launch it So here is our Kamunda modeler, right? And what we can do is uh, we can start a BPM and diagram. So it gives us all the capabilities to write a simple BPM and diagram. We already have uh, some BPM and diagram. Now you can see all the, the tools, right? All the navigator tools and all these things. This is my starting. Here I will add a task. This can be your service task or simple test. Okay, this is your starting and you are connecting with this and then there is an end, end so these each and every component has its own meaning start create event here is a start end event so we are just uh, ending this and it's a connected to the end event now what you are going to do in this it can be a service task here you can choose what you want to do with this particular task it can be a user task, manual task, service task, script task, call activity or a sub process means sub process means you have written a whole big diagram and it is calling another sub process or another uh, call activity right. This can be a simple service task where you may be calling some external service to do something okay. Service task is really interesting which we are going to use a lot because we are going to have a Kamunda client services whenever your execution flow will come to this particular service task we will we will define the mapping in the Kamunda that Kamunda will automatically trigger that endpoint will get this task done and it will close it currently we don't have it and here is our property panel where we can define a lot of things okay now how to deploy this if you are using modeler you can use this tool to deploy this and here you can just specify your Kamunda engine endpoint so here uh, from this Kamunda modeler we can just put a deployment name and the rest endpoint okay localhost 8080 engine rest and we can click on deploy so deployment succeeded that means this diagram is now deployed in our Kamunda engine we just enter demo demo and we should be able to save we should be able to see what is happening and we can also see the logs everything is fine now and we can see there are three uh, processes right two processes are predefined which comes with the Kamunda while you bootstrap this and this is another process which we just deployed okay and you can see the version name so we didn't put any particular name and all so this is the deployment ID and this is your Kamunda diagram which has been deployed this is the process ID and this is the definition key I mean you can give a particular name while deploying it so this is a simple deployment right now what we are actually doing we are using this Kamunda modeler and doing all sort of these things okay here these particular tasks can be as complex as possible right it is just, just a simple example here we can use this gateway this uh, particular task this is the expanded sub process database object reference right mostly we use these call activity sub process gateway starts and and the, these are more than enough to write any workflow right 
and if we just take a look on to this span here we can define all these synchronous and synchronous things like service task if I'm creating uh, for a service task I have to define the implementation it is going to be external right and the topic name like uh, test topic this is the topic for which the external Kamunda client will keep listening we will talk about it like how to handle these external tasks this can be doing your asynchronous thing like sending the, the email over the time it can be a lot of things can be added here uh, parallel activity currently it's not like this so here it can be user task manual task you can define a business rule task for particular this and these implementation if you see implementations can be a java class can be simple expression which it is it will evaluate and give us the output or external which will take care of which will be taken care by some external task okay so this is just a simple bpm and how to deploy this and we can also play around a little bit on the dashboard here we can see three things cockpit uh, cockpit task list and admin right if i just go to home i think so this is admin section so we have a cockpit we have a task list and we have admin dashboard ui this looks like a bit slow but yeah that should be fine so i mean kamunda will have a ui console where you can create a multiple users and give your access to the users okay this is the admin user this is a read only user all those things are also configurable here we can actually go to cockpit and task list so this is my cockpit where I can see all the, the workflows which are defined. Okay, so the two workflows which are already there, we can take a look onto them. So there are six human tasks, but most human tasks are from the predefined workflows. Okay, here we can see three and we can take a look onto this invoice receipt. Right, this is a predefined one which gets deployed with this uh, BPM and here you can see the definition name. This is important. The definition keep using which we are going to invoke it in future this is the version one so when you keep deploying these bpms one by one it keeps increasing these versions okay and here now this is a bpm process right so these are the multiple process instance there are three times it has been invoked from externally and uh, you can actually go inside a one particular one and can see what is happening so here you can de debug a one particular process it is stuck not stuck it is actually stopped at the user task right now you click on to this this particularly is a user task and you will manually go and finish this particular user task so it can move further okay because this is a bpm and there are service tasks user task uh, user tasks are manual which you have to go to the task list and claim that particular task here you can enter a lot of information okay like uh, i'm claiming this with this information it is coming disabled just give me a sec because it should be say something like i click on the claim and i will complete this so it will complete this user task for us okay let's see that again so there are two user tasks you can see i claim it okay an error something is going wrong there leave it uh, here we have other other task i can claim it like i can just mark this particular task complete so it will move in the bpm and this task task will go go away from here i mean this is how it works that, that is just an idea i wanted to give you can claim a particular task and then you just mark it complete so user task will be completed now we can again go to the cockpit and from the cockpit we can also start a particular uh, process particular workflow so if i go here and go to my workflow which we just have deployed right activity instance you can start stop all these things so here you can actually check the deployments which are available all the three deployments whenever you deploy the, the new bpm that that will be available here uh, 
going to the task list. I mean, once you deploy your first BPM, you can play around with this UI, which gives you all the things. And here we can actually start a process also. And here you need to define which process you wanted to start. Like this is a manual process start. I, either there will be external entity from the UI, from the user button click, you will be starting this by accessing the, the REST API. Here also you can actually start a particular process, business key test. Yeah. So this particular process has been started and we can just check all the th things, all the logs and all are available. Something goes wrong, I think, while executing something, so that is fine. You will see these kind of errors and logs on the BPMN, but uh, this is how it is working, right? So you can manually start a process, can see all the all the process running in the user list, on the cockpit, admin UI, all these features are here, okay? Uh, thanks everyone. So in the next, we will draw something and we will deploy it and we will see what is happening underneath that.